record number of Buckeyes this holiday week are saying, giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, let's go. 3.8 million Ohioans are expected to travel 50 miles or more from home. That's the highest number since AAA began keeping records back in 2001. And 90% of us are going to hit the road. The gas prices are an unexpected, wonderful gift for all of the drivers. Um, generally speaking, for holiday travel, even when gas prices are higher, families are still going to go see Grandma. Um, this will give them a little extra money in their pocket to do other things with. If only Grandma would give me something other than pajamas. But the timing's a gift, too, with both Christmas and New Year's falling on Thursdays. So many of us can take very long holiday weekends. Not Natasha and myself, but many of you. That brings us to tonight's Pump Patrol and more good news for holiday travelers. The cheapest gas we found, 189 at the Speedway on North Fairfield Road at Dayton Xenia Road in Beaver Creek. We're all caroling, God bless us everyone, for the Christmas gift of low gas prices. So please forgive tonight's what it means for playing Scrooge and pointing out why this cheap gas does not come from Santa Claus. You know how big box discounters move into small towns and slash prices supposedly to drive mom and pop competitors out of business? Well, that's what Saudi Arabia is doing right now, flooding the market with cheap oil. And who's their target? U.S. drillers, and especially frackers, who threaten to make America the new Saudi Arabia. Fracking, or hydraulic fracturing, extracts oil and natural gas from underground shale by blasting it with liquid. It's already doubled the incomes of people in fracking states like North Dakota and, yes, Ohio. But it's not just the Saudis who want to drive frackers out of business. Environmentalists have pressured the Obama administration to restrict fracking because they say it triggers everything from water pollution to earthquakes. There is also another reason our gas is now cheap that won't make you go ho, ho, ho. A worldwide economic slowdown is reducing demand for oil. To read more about all of this, see my take called Frack Attack at fox45now.com in the top blog section. And then sound off on our Facebook page, Fox 45 Dayton.